Matt Van is a superstar radio presenter and one of the founders of Shout Radio. He currently presents Through the Years and co-hosts the Midweek Show with Aaron Bennett on a Wednesday night. And as of this Monday, he's going to be the new presenter of the Shout Radio Breakfast Show. And he's on the line with us here now from Blackpool. How's that for an introduction? Is that all right? Oh, that was a bit enthusiastic, weren't it? (laughs) Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Good Good afternoon, Toby. How are we doing, mate? I'm doing good. I'm, I was going to ask how the weather is in Blackpool, but it's pitch um, black now, basically. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you could say that. <laughs> yeah, a bit cold though. A bit cold. Mm. Yes, it's that time of year, but that means it's nearly Christmas, so I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So starting well, on so- Monday. Starting on Monday, of course, you're going to be the new host of the breakfast show here. So, what is going to be in the show if you're able to reveal such information? Oh, okay. I'll let, I'll let some things out of the bag, but I'm not letting everything out of the bag. Okay. We're going to be having the, we're going to be having the news, of course. We're going to be having your traffic and travel. That's going to be happening every half hour on yeah. the half hour mark. We're going to be having some funny games. So yes, we're gonna have some funny games on the on, happening. We're gonna be yeah. having um, the um, look at some news stories. What's been happening from the night before? Uh, some showbiz as well, and many, many, yeah. much more stuff. Yeah, and these fun and games. Can you be a little bit more specific, or have you not actually? No, thought at the of moment, them? I'm not letting that anything like that <laughs> out of the bag. All I can say, is we've got some games happening, but you'll have to Ooh. tune in on Monday to uh-huh. find out what games it's going to be. Hmm. And are there going to be any prizes at all? Then maybe, maybe. One little prize happening. Ooh. <laughs> You'll have to tune in on Monday to find out what that is. A signed photo for all the grannies <laughs> that want a signed photo of Matt Van. Well, yeah. so yeah, we've got, we got some interesting stuff on the way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, some mm. quite interesting bits and- happening on the breakfast show. Yeah. Have you ever done a breakfast show before? No, no. This is going to be my first breakfast show. So as you can imagine, I'm going to be nervous as well as everyone else. Yeah. And I've got to, be, I've got to wake up early. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. Early. Are you a morning person at all? Am I a morning? Mm. It all depends. If I have the coffee in front of me, yeah. then yes. <laughs> but I've got to have that coffee in front of me. So mm. it'll be getting up, coffee, sort out the show, all before the start time of seven. I remember what time it was. Seven, seven o'clock. Yeah. Yes, yeah, seven o'clock in the morning through till ten o'clock. Yeah. Oh. And so what time are you gonna be waking up then? Is it six or like even earlier than that? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get up at like half past five in the morning because Ooh. if you think about it, I've got all the prep to do. Yeah. Plus as well get everything set up. Plus as well getting everything else all sorted. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be five o'clock by the time. About yeah. five half five that I'll have to get up. Yeah, and that's gonna be particularly hard on a Thursday morning. If you're still doing the midweek show, which finishes at midnight, so how much sleep do you need? Because five and a half hours isn't much for most people. I, I don't think I'm going to be sleeping that on Wednesday. Oh. I think I'm going to. What I'll probably do is on Wednesdays is going, having a little nap around about three ish. Yeah. Or maybe one, one of the shows I may have to start recording. Hmm. Yeah, that's a possibility. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And how much sleep do you normally need? Is it the recommended eight hours? Because I know myself, because I generally most of the time, unless I've unless I'm interviewing an Australian, I can sleep for like ten hours or twelve hours. But for you, you're gonna get up for something. So 
how long are you going to be sleeping for on a normal day? On a normal... Well, it all depends what you call a normal day, Toby. <laughs> yeah, it all depends exist. what you call it. What is a normal day? There is no such thing in this world that is a normal day. Mm. Um, I would say probably three, four hours. Yeah. Maybe, maybe six if I push it. But that's You're joking, just right? Him. No, I'm not joking. So how do you function? Aren't you just tired all the time? And it's called a certain some some drink. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, called, it's called caffeine. Mm, yes. As long as I have that yeah. caffeine intake, then yeah. Yes. Now here's the thing: you have a lot of weight on your shoulders because the breakfast show generally is the main show of the station. You put your best presenter on the breakfast show as if to say this is us so what makes yeah. you good enough to be the host of this show oh <laughs> well if you've ever tuned in to any of other of my shows you would know what it was mm. it's my personality of course yeah it's my personality you can't anyone could do radio yeah anyone can do radio Hmm. But it's the personality mainly that brings it out of you. Yeah. Uh, I wrote a poem about your personality. Here it is. Oh, no! <laughs> no, no, no. All right, let's hear this. Come on, then. No, no, the joke is that it, it's a blank page because I'm implying that you've got no personality. Rude! <laughs> <laughs> Dear oh me. So yeah, um, I, I reckon it's got to be the personality more than anything. Yes, that's probably it. Yeah. And how are you going to pitch it? Because is it going to be a loud breakfast show like let's do this, or maybe a little bit gently easing people into the day? Probably just gently easing yeah. people in. I've got. You'll know when the breakfast starts the breakfast show will start because there's one particular song that I will be playing even before I speak. Ooh. And what is that? Yes. What is that? Wake up. It's a beautiful <laughs> morning. It's got to be that one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of all songs, probably, yeah. <clears throat> on a Monday, on a Monday, though, there's going to be one particular song. Boontown Rats. I don't like Mondays. Mm. It's... And the reason that it's got to be that one, I don't like Mondays, is because, more than anything, it's these people that uh, go out either on a Saturday or a Sunday night and they're still like, oh, I really <laughs> do not be involved. I've got to get myself up there. But no, that's what it's got to be. Yeah. It's, so, yeah, it's going to be, wake up, it's a beautiful morning. That's going to be the... Uh, First song you'll hear on a Tuesday onwards, Tuesday yeah. to Friday. Mm. On a Monday, it's going to be Boomtown Rat. Yeah. So like no, no special Friday song yet, then? No special Friday songs as of yet. If anyone no. can um, let us know one of a special one, then feel mm. free. I don't, just, just get in it, contact. Just, there's loads of Friday songs, though. It's probably the most common. you got Friday, I'm in Love, uh, Last Friday Night. What about Rebecca Black, Friday? Everyone loves that one. No. <laughs> that one will not get played on the show unless it gets requested. Yeah. Or just maybe on a random day, I don't know, a Wednesday, you could play a bit of Clive Dunn and Grandad. Oh, yes. And we know exactly who that will bump me for, don't we, Toby? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, uh -huh. But no, that, that's what's going to be ha happening on that way. Um, so Mondays is going to be I don't, the Boomtown Rat. Tuesday to Friday is going to be the uh, Wake Up It's a Beautiful Morning. Yeah. Straight after the news, of course. So, mm. yeah, you'll know when I'm on. Yeah, definitely. But I've already got this. I'll let one thing out of the bag. I've already okay. got the jingle. I've already got the jingles for the breakfast show. They're already done. Mm. Yeah. Are they Postman Pat yeah. themed? 
How did you guess? <laughs> yes, yeah, so they, no they are. They are. <laughs> They're Postman Pat Fiends. You got Mrs. McGinn's. Yeah. You got Mrs. Doubtfire in there as well. Got Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Uh, got Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam's in there as well. Love that um, feature. Yeah. No, you're not. We're not playing Fireman Sam. We don't want Move to play the game. Okay. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that's what's yeah. going to be happening. Yeah. And here's the thing: How did you originally get into radio presenting originally? Because I don't really know your story. I don't think. Right. So how did I get into it originally? Well, what it was is I was listening to a local station down in Kent. Yeah. And I thought. I could, I could do this. Mm. I could literally do it. So an old station that uh, the big boss owns of Shout Radio, um, yeah. big boss of Shout Radio, used to run. Uh, there was it was a station called Flash Hits, yeah. and um, it was with an old old volunteer called Rob Irvine. He used to be the recruitment manager. So something like you're doing now with Shout Radio, that's what he used to do with Flash Hit. So yeah. I got in contact with with the adverts and literally that's where the radio come into it. I thought, yeah. And I used to have a, quite a lot of sayings, which I don't oh. hardly say now. <laughs> Um, I used to have a, quite a lot of sayings on the show. Uh, one of them was, uh, that's a matter of fact. Yeah. It's all goody goody. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think of the other one. There was one other, and I could not think of it for the life of me. But that's what makes uh, your presenting unique. And if you can yeah. make it unique out there, people are going to love you. Yeah, and as you as you know, Toby, this shout radio has been going so long now. Yeah, I've too yeah long. I've been coming in too long, <laughs> but in that time I've been coming and going. And if you work so hard in the radio industry, it from going from von, uh, from presenter, you can make it to the top of the board mm. where where I am now. I used to be a presenter. Then I was recruitment manager. Then I was station manager. Now I'm a managing director of mm. the station. So yeah. I've done every yeah. I've done every single role. So when yeah. people um, say to me that you I can't do this, I say there's no such thing as can't. Yeah. Put yourself out there. As long as you're willing to put the time in, as long as you're put, willing to put the effort in, you can do it. Yeah, absolutely. And you are evidence that absolutely anyone can be a presenter. Exactly. exactly. Literally anyone can do it. It, it yeah. was like what? It must have been what, about 12, 12 maybe 14 years ago? I was yeah. sitting indoors thinking, I can never be a radio presenter. Never. Mm. But look at me now. Yeah. I present I present through the years. As a Monday I'll be presenting the breakfast show. Um and yeah, yeah, that's it. The other one that I used to have and I was just reminded about this. Surely well is is the other saying that I used to have. Uh-huh. So yeah, it, that's how how it all come all come about all the um the outgoings and everything else that comes about with the with the radio so yeah yeah and here we go what's your favorite song to play on the radio oh song or artist which one are you after song because that's what i said song (laughs) <laughs> it would have to be um, probably Summer of 69 oh I hear that's one of yeah. Jim's favourites 
summer of 69. Because mm. the reason I say summer of 69 is because it's upbeat mm. and it's from the year that I was born. So it brings back what, a little 69? bit of memory. <laughs> 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 Keep it clean, Toby. We can't have any of that. I must have been in 1969. <laughs> I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Yeah. And who are your favourite other presenters that have inspired you over the years as well? Apart from me, obviously. <laughs> no, not, not you. Definitely not you. <laughs> I would have to say it would probably be Lazy B, mm. who does the chill out though. Yeah. Or, or, um, oh, what's the other one? <laughs> Jim Douglas. Mm. No, not Jim Douglas. Big Tommy. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, Big Tommy. I would have to say them, them two, hands down. They, yeah. Yeah. They're the ones that inspired me. Yeah. That's on the internet side. But on FM side, I would have to say it's Greg James. Hmm. Okay. Kind of more recent one, him, I guess. Yes. I would have to say, if you was going FM, and it would have to be Radio 1 presenter, Greg James. Yeah, of course. Lit- and... Literally. Hmm. And is there anything coming up in the first show specifically that you're able to reveal? No. The breakfast? <laughs> Nothing's going to get let out of the bag. Oh. Nothing is going to be... I'm sorry, it's getting kept... <laughs> no one knows this. No one knows, except for myself, what's coming up in the show. Wow, okay. That's yeah. pretty incredible. Not, e- not even the CEO knows what's coming up in the mm. show. That's incredible. But there is something, <laughs> right? There is something coming up. Okay. There is something coming up in the show. Okay. That's but good. I'm not letting anything out of the bag. Okay. Well, you can hear Matt Van here on Shout Radio every weekday morning from 7am, starting this Monday, the 15th. And you can tune in at shoutradio.org.uk or by saying, Alexa, play Shout Radio. And now mine's probably going to go off, but I don't care. (laughs) Yeah. But thanks very much for joining us here on the show today. It's been great talking to you. And you, Toby, and you have a good one, yeah? Thank you.